whenever people say that markets are going to touch lifetime high when it comes to nifty they used to say market will touch 19000 even yesterday in my live trading uh, session live trading vi- uh, video one guy said market will touch maybe around 20000 and bank nifty will top maybe 41000 and i used to laugh at these people there are there are many clones you know jokers they come and say market will touch that and this and i don't really care about these people because these people they really don't know what is happening around you if you see what is happening around you you will realize that this market is not going to go uh, anywhere it is not going to touch lifetime high or uh, this lifetime high you forget nothing is going to happen anytime soon it is going to take very very much uh, very long time and in fact today i'm saying you there is a possibility of recession in the us also so if you know what is happening around us and why i'm saying that there is a possibility of recession is because the proxies which are uh, there is indicating that the uh, recession is likely to hit Uh, in the US in the coming days now you have to understand this let me tell it in a very short way of course this is a very brief macroeconomic subject which we have to post a separate video for but I will tell you as short as possible so that you understand the concept and you don't uh, see you don't have to see the social media and looking at this fake fat profits and believe that everyone is making money and you don't make money not like that you don't believe in this uh, these things the main reason you are thinking that the markets will go higher 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 is because of this uh, kind of fake uh, fat profits okay you keep aside this fake fat profits and you just listen to me or try to understand what is happening around us now you may know that the federal reserve is increasing the interest rate right now so far they have increased it by 2.75 percent now the maiden uh, projection for 2020 is around 4.25 percent which means the federal reserve is likely to increase the interest rate in the coming days and uh, around 4.75 maiden projection uh, for the year 2023 right so what is going to happen is federal reserve is making difficult for businesses to borrow money borrowing money is going to cost a lot when they when they do this kind of interest rate hike what businesses do is they don't try to uh, borrow money they don't really want money because they want money right but they are borrowing at a higher cost now it is cheaper to borrow money when the federal reserve increases the interest rate it is going to be very costly to borrow money when they don't borrow money they cannot expand their business and economy is going to shrink and that is what is happening right they are trying to tamper the inflation now first thing is that thing okay now second thing if you see dollar index if you see the dollar uh, usd inr pair it is almost 81 and lifetime high i think it is almost 81.49 i think if i am right yeah around 81 point 49 or 45 right it would have gone to 82 or 83 but it has not gone and you know why what is the reason because uh, rba is intervening and it is swapping the bills it is if you can check or if you can google it you might know that indian foreign reserve last week just to give you a perspective last week indian foreign reserve was around 5.75 billion dollars and you know not last week maybe six months back and you know today how much is the indian reserve foreign indian reserve uh, rba foreign reserve around maybe 520 billion dollars from 575 it has come to around 520 billion dollars maybe around 20 uh, they have spent swapped 50 billion worth of dollar in just a short span of time that is because they are just intervening in the forex market and they are not letting the indian currency to come down that is the only reason in uh, indian rupee is holding at around 81 still it has depreciated so much if uh, rba hadn't come uh, hadn't intervened or it is just sitting back maybe we would have hit 82 or maybe 83 and that that is one of the reason why indian markets are not falling and in spite of doing all these things you can understand the fis are selling aggressively in our market which i will show you in few minutes right a few minutes okay 
so you can see the proxies whatever proxy i have told first thing is federal reserve is increasing the interest rate very very highly which is uh, increasing the interest rate which will tamper the inflation which will uh, slow down the economy which will uh, which will lead to a recession right this is a first proxy uh, us dollar is appreciating very much not only uh, usd inr pair usd pound usd euro everything is depreciating against us dollar us dollars uh, us dollar is getting very very attractive that is why you can see us bond yield 10 year bond yield 2 year bond yield is and all at lifetime high if you want i can show you the uh, show you the chart and don't think this is unwanted subject or i'm just bluffing now if you see here this is the 10 year bond yield it is almost 3.823 now 10 year bond yield is a one of the very important proxy and they say that when 10 year bond yield increases means smart money is moving from equities to bonds okay that is what so this is the second proxy right and uh, uh, and indian government or rbi's intervention in uh, holding just holding the indian rupees this is the third proxy so if you understand all this concept you will you will know that the markets are not going to go higher markets are likely to go down even if the recession hits so india the people talk about india is prone to recession it will not be affected that and this that is a whole different ball game or different story which we will talk later but if the us is us is hit by recession it is going to drag all the market on the downside so that is likely to happen or the probability of recession in the us is very very high so it is time to short the market the why i am saying all this is why i am talking for more than 7 minutes about this us macroeconomy and rbi's uh, uh, policy and all is because this is very important people who believe that the markets are going to go high is not going to happen any time soon you have to understand all the scenarios what is happening around us so that you are safe always hedge your position uh, downside is more likely to happen people talk uh, you, many famous youtubers say that uh, market is factored in everything uh, 52 week low that and this and all don't believe in these things and all when the when the federal reserve is keep on increasing the interest rate the markets are likely to come down only and whatever happened today now this uh, coming back to our markets so if you see today in our market uh, our markets were very very special today right you know that us markets are us uh, us uh, what is that us markets are in the green now as i talk to you us markets are green now right you know what is the reason for that because of uh, this thing you know that uh, dow jones whether it is dow jones nasdaq snp all are in 52 week low in fact uh, dow jones has touched pre covid levels right so that is a very very support sentimental or emotional or psychological support that is why we are seeing a retracement in dow jones snp 500 nasdaq Anyway, both, all three Dow Jones, Nasdaq, S&P 500 has been uh, in a downward trajectory. Last five days, Nasdaq is down only. One day, 300 points or uh, 400 points up move is not a big deal. Okay, this thing is being factored into in the Indian market in spite of uh, you know Dow Jones, Dow futures going higher, slightly higher, up by more than one percent or one and a half percent. What happened in the Indian market is that uh, Indian markets were not ready to go high and it was really coming down. If you talk about Bank Nifty, Bank Nifty hype was around 39,000 and low was around 38,150, around 800 points swing in Nifty and uh, sorry Bank Nifty and Nifty uh, high was around 17,170 and low was around 16,900 maybe around maybe 200 or 200 plus points swing in 
nifty right so this uh, what is indian markets are ignoring the uh, facts in the us market and this what this is the first time that i am seeing usually what happens is when the your us markets are green <clears throat> we also tend to be in green and when the mother market is in red we also tend to be in red but that is not happening now thanks to fis fis have alone sold for around 2823 crores and dis have bought for around 3504 crores right so the general trivia or the general purpose of this video is to tell you or educate you that the markets are likely to go on the downward trajectory there is no way the market will go on the higher side even if it goes on the higher side it is an excellent opportunity to short the market and that is what you have you have to be doing if you are an investor don't try to buy this dip uh market will uh, test uh, lawyers we will see maybe i don't want to say the numbers market we will see even more lawyers right so you understand what is happening around us and uh, act smart don't uh, see the social media too much uh, don't see the fat profit uh, money is made long term anything which happens overnight is a scam you have to understand this very very simple concept i am saying you again whatever happens in overnight is a scam money making is a very very long and boring and tiring process it will take years and years of expertise to make money anything which is made overnight is just a scam and that is what you are seeing in social media twitters fat profit fake profit these are all scams you have to understand that i'm not saying everyone is scamming but there are people who scam and uh, they try to make money out of you right and uh, if you see the open interest wise open interest also literally there is no put writing at all so this is the open interest of bank nifty still having 38500 call option and nifty uh, having highest open interest is at around 17100 so literally there is no call writing or call writing was not happening today so you can understand how weak our markets are uh, very weak right so i hope i have summarized everything time and again i am saying please don't go long in the market short the market recession is inevitable uh, thank you for watching see you in a yet another video tomorrow uh, take care bye